For this year's Wash and Go series, I decided to focus on gels that do not contain glycerin. And that led to a lot of questions about glycerin, and I thought, I apologize, I thought that I had done a video about glycerin specifically, but I didn't. So today we're going to talk about glycerin, its effect in your hair products, and its effect on your hair. If you like what you hear in today's video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell if you're not already subscribed to my channel. So glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant. What are humectants? A humectant is an ingredient that binds to water. Now there are a lot of ingredients that are humectants. Specifically though, we're talking about glycerin, propylene glycol, and sorbitol. They are different than film forming humectants, which I've talked about before, so I'll leave a link above and below to that video. We are talking specifically about glycerin, propylene glycol, and sorbitol because they can really be a pain in the arse uh, depending on your climate because climate is not consistent in this world we live in. So what makes these three ingredients special? Well, these are especially good at attracting air vapor, water, moisture, right? They do a really good job of capturing the water from the air and using it to keep your hair soft and moisturized. It does a good job of keeping moisture that's already in your hair, that you've already applied to your hair, in your hair. However, depending on your climate, the time of year, glycerin can actually work against you um, in your hair. And it can also work for you. So let's say you have high humidity, higher humidity, 50% humidity, but you have low temperatures. This could mean that your dew points are not optimal. This can mean that your dew points are low, so your climate is dry. What does the dew point measure? It measures the amount of water in the air. That's why it is a more accurate measurement. And I will continue to direct you guys to Elle from Elevate's dew point video because she does a really good job of explaining it. But simply said, what this means is if your climate is dry, using a glycerin-based product can work against you. Glycerin has no air vapor to pull from. So where is it going to pull from? It's going to pull from your hair, from the products that are on your hair. And if you use gels that contain glycerin, that leave those really hard casts, that those brittle casts, it can actually lead to dryness and breakage in your hair, right? The way those products work is they have a really hard cast, but they still pull air vapor through glycerin to keep your hair moisturized, to keep it from getting too dry. If there's no air vapor, if there's nothing for the glycerin to hang on to, it's going to damage your hair. It's going to dry your hair out. That gel becomes toxic to your hair. Now there are ways around it, right? It, if the formula of your product contains occlusives, so we're talking about oils and conditioners, conditioning agents, these can help to mitigate that effect, right? Or if you use a leave-in conditioner that has oils and conditioners, it can help to stop that dryness from destroying your hair. You still don't necessarily want to use those really harsh, brittle gels. You, you still don't necessarily want to do that. You're still running a risk, but you don't necessarily have to stay away from glycerin in its entirety. You do just have to make sure that the products you use also contain either other humectants oils or conditioners. You really don't want to use products that only contain a glycerin, propylene glycol, or sorbitol as their only humectant. There's really just not enough of a barrier or a balance in the formula to be optimal for hair that is prone to dryness. So why is it that some people just stay away from glycerin? Well, you shouldn't stay away from glycerin altogether. It helps water bind. So in your deep conditioners, in your leave-in conditioners, it's actually a great ingredient. You don't want to stay away from them. It really does give your hair that, that basis of moisture. It helps keep your hair hydrated. However, if you're using a gel with glycerin, you may want to be cognizant of the dew point. You may want to keep track of when there's not a lot of water vapor in the air. Now, if you live in a humid climate like I do, if you live in a hot, humid climate where the dew points are always high, like I do, it has a different and interesting effect, right? It can actually be a great thing to keep your hair moisturized. Glycerin can be a great thing to keep your hair moisturized because it has tons of water vapor to pull from in to pull it into your hair. No problems there, right? 
However, what it can do is shorten the life of your wash and go because there's so much water vapor in the air that it can break the cast of your gel prematurely. So if I'm going to use a glycerin based gel in the summer, I tend to use one that has a really strong cast because it's the humidity is going to start to break that cast the moment I go outside. Now on the downside, it's moisture bonding to the hair, which means that my hair is going to shrink and shrink every time I go outside every single day. So you're not going to get any kind of stretch. You have to be okay with that if you use a glycerin based styler in really, really humid climates. However, a lot of people decide to just stay away from glycerin based stylers because you don't have to worry about climate. You could just use something that's a year round product, right? A year round gel that just doesn't contain glycerin. That's why I decided to do the wash and go series because a lot of people just stay away from glycerin in their gels. However, I want to make it clear that you do not have to just stay away from glycerin altogether. Glycerin is a great ingredient in deep conditioners, in leave-in conditioners, and when there is glycerin in the first five ingredients then there's also an oil it's actually usually a more balanced product so you don't necessarily have to stay away from it you just got to try it and see if it works however if you're experiencing dryness if you're starting to experience breakage and the dew points are not optimal you can probably bet that it's the glycerin in your styler that's causing you an issue for some that may be winter for some that may be summer in the end you do need to watch Elle's dew point video if you haven't seen it before to help you understand when it's best to use glycerin in your natural hair. So if you enjoyed this video, like I said, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like Tip Tuesday, I've been doing Tip Tuesday all year long. If you like what you saw here, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification icon. So until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.